Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. In today's video, well first things first, we're going to clean this nasty, dusty um, corner hutch right here in my dining area. So I pretty much am going to be um, just repurposing, reusing the items that I already have in place and adding touches of fall around them. I'm actually really liking this. You know, usually I pull everything out and then I start decorating all over again, fresh and new, but I'm really liking um, keeping the my certain uh, pieces that, you know, I'm collecting, like these rooster canisters here from Arthur Court um, and just... Uh, keeping them there at all times and just changing things out inside them as we go through the seasons. So um, for those of you that are new, welcome. Um, we have quite a few new subscribers. And for those of you that enjoy this video, please think about giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment, sharing with others. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so here we are in the corner in my dining area. This hutch was actually um, purchased a Facebook marketplace a couple years ago. And we're going to start up here at the top. I'm just, I'm going to keep everything up here. The basket um, with the majority of the greenery inside. Um, the pictures on the side my topiaries these were a diy project they were actually a galvanized um uh, silver color and i just i warm warmed them up using um, gold paint and my antiquing glaze and um, i know amazon offers them but they have been out for quite some time uh, the pictures, but they are, um, I believe, well, I don't know. I'm not, don't even get me to start telling stories. I don't even know if these are in my Amazon storefront. But anyways, what we're going to do here is we're going to start from the top and we are going to work our way down decorating for fall. Okay, so up here, I just went ahead and placed it in. I love this pumpkin. It was actually, if you remember, in the living room in front of the fireplace. Well, I have a little story here. One of my subscribers got in touch with me and stated that she has a colonial home that has three fireplaces and the exact same thing has happened to her with smoke coming out of the fireplace into the room and um, she was informed that if she was to lift up her her grate and put some bricks underneath because it's all about the airflow that um, the smoke would get what it needed the circulation and go out the chimney so we went we purchased some bricks and put it underneath the grate and it works we have a working fireplace. I'm so thrilled. So I removed everything out from in front of the fireplace and now we are enjoying fires. And just thank you so, so much. You know who you are. Okay, now look, I'm embarrassed, but that's okay. That's okay. Look how dirty. I sort of just decorated closed the door and just forgot about this cabinet because everything has just been so busy. So we're going to clean things up a bit and make it shine all pretty and new again. Okay, see how fast that was? The top shelf is nice and clean. Look at the bottom. Mm, sad face, right? So let's go back up to the top where we have a happy face and start decorating. 
Okay, again, these are my Arthur Court um, rooster canisters. They have been retired, but they can be found still on eBay and um, Facebook Marketplace. But they have really gone up in price. When I first started collecting these, the price was still, you know, a little high. But now it's just almost out of control what they are asking for these pieces. So I decided to keep the pasta inside because you know what? It works for fall. So why change what works, right? And then in the back, I have my pears from Hobby Lobby and some greenery and it works as well. So now I'm going to add in these chargers that were purchased from, I believe, Home Goods. Love the bronze and the gold, very aged. Um, just a delicious texture and color on these chargers. And I actually purchased eight of them and I don't think I paid any more than 20, maybe $25 for the set of four. So what I try to do to make things look a little bit upscale, it's all about the detail, finding detail in um, items. So instead of just going just a regular gold or bronze plate um, or copper plate, get one with detail. And these have leaves going all around them. And they look like they cost quite a bit, but they really, they did not. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to layer um, but by adding in that warm, rich, um, coppery bronze color, it's already, it's been, a, it's a game changer. Now we're going to use plates from Hobby Lobby. Very affordable here again. Um, I'm not sure if they had these out this year, um, but they were uh, $9.99 a plate, but 50% off. So get two for, well, might as well say $10.00 two for ten dollars and the green is everything up against the chargers it's pulling out the green from the pastas from the pears from the greenery and just warming everything up bringing that gorgeous green palette um i can never well green is my favorite color so um i love all shades of green and look at the difference already just by adding in from the bottom to the top the plate and the charger so again when you're out there well for me anyways it's all about the detail in um, the plates now these were not so reasonable um, we you know it's William Sonoma so I mean um, you really can't get too reasonable um, with William Sonoma. However, you can shop clearance and sales. Um, this is their botanical pumpkin print, $12.95 for one salad plate, but 25% off. Wait for those 25% off sales from William Sonoma because they can get quite costly, but you know what? William Sonoma is worth every penny. You get what you pay for, truly. So we will be adding these in front of the green plates. And it will lighten up the inside the dark cabinet. So here we have it. So I have the salad plate up front, dinner plate, then a charger. The charger, home goods, the green dinner plate, Hobby Lobby, and the salad plates, William Sonoma. And again, the rooster canisters are by Arthur Court. Um, I highly suggest looking for them on Facebook Marketplace first before going to eBay or Etsy because I have found a couple um, really good steel deals with the canisters. Now to add in a touch of vintage. This is my, just a, a, a delicious green. It's my hen dish. I mean, just look at this. It, the color is 
just absolutely everything. But I'm going to add a little something inside this dish just to make it stand out just that much more. It's taken me a moment here and I just placed in some string lights. And when the lid is placed on top, you just get the perfect glow, especially during the evening hours. I'll put it back up here in just a moment. And now isn't this just the sweetest touch? Just place in some simple string lights inside of your glass dishes. And the green just really is pulling again to really warm this shelf up. Um, it has been brought back to life for sure. I want to point out the two plates are green and the hen up front is green. So I used the triangular um, technique that I use with my floral arranging here on this top shelf. Okay, here we go. Back onto the sad face shelf. It's dirty. It's all dusty, nasty. Look, the canisters, they're all cloudy and how embarrassing but this is real life right here, okay? So look at that. It's all cleaned up now. They're all looking pretty. And now um, we're pretty much going to repeat ourselves down here with um, the plates to um, really pull the colors and the, the warmth and the richness from the back. And again, you just cannot go wrong with these chargers. I mean, just instant, just an immediately changes just by placing the chargers up here. So try to find some that have detailing on the outside, if that's what you choose to do. Um, the, for me, the more detail, the better. I like my eyes to go left, right, up, down. If my eyes are busy, I'm happy. <laughs> and then uh, I will be using the Hobby Lobby plates. And the William Sonoma as well. Remember, the cells, they do have cells. And great clearances. Now I'm just going to add a little something here up front, but for the most part, all of these pieces I already had. I didn't have to go out and do all sorts of shopping, which was just great. Um, I was able to repurpose many of my items. And now I have these sweet um, salt and pepper shakers and I just place some potpourri inside. And I just love everything about um, Arthur Court's rooster line. He just did a fabulous, fabulous job. So I just place them down onto the glass shelf, but it just, I, I needed to add a little bit more because I just, I mean, this looks nice here, but I just did not want the glass on glass. I just wanted a little something there, not too much. So I decided to use one of these trays I recently thrifted. Um, these are tip trays. I mean, what a gorgeous tip tray. I could just imagine what the restaurant looked like back in the day. Very aged, crackling all over gorgeous um, floral image has the greens and the yellows I 
And what I decided to do is just place it right underneath the salt and pepper shaker. Now I have completed these two top shelves. As you can see, I tried to line the pumpkins up diagonally. And then on the other side, I lined up the leaves because I didn't want every plate going the same direction. I don't know why. It looks good, but it, that just was kind of, um, I don't know, bothering me a bit. So now we're going to work down here at the bottom. And I just placed in some of my, um, you know, overflow of plates. Uh, many of these will be used with um, throughout fall. Here's some of my napkins that were purchased from Pier 1. This one up on top, we just basically place this um, on our lap or to the side. We don't necessarily use these because of the beadwork. Um, but if they do get dirty, they dry clean nicely. And then the tartan plaid, we do use those. I love using um, the plaids during the holiday seasons. And I just stack them up. And then off to the side, I place this green wreath candle. Love the jar. Um, it's highly embossed. It's a great look the green and then the detailing and inside it ha I'm I personally love so it says Christmas um, 1999 everything's 50% off so $10 for this candle and it is absolutely everything if you like the scent of pine it is a two wick candle and just smell that oh the luscious pine that the fall and wintry season brings in. Mm. Delicious. Hobby Lobby. Green wreath. And I will be placing this off over to the side. So I really um, worked with the color green quite a bit inside of the hutch to warm things up now i have this little um it's like a hand like hand basket it was purchased from a grocery store when i was living in north carolina this piece that's curving off is from hobby lobby and these uh green leaves here are from maryfield garden and i'm just going to make a simple floral arrangement inside this basket here's another floral um pick it uh, again this was purchased from maryfield garden it's just a pine garland with um just berries um on the tips of all of the pine not all of it but the majority so i'm just Make sure to weave your greenery together to help make things look just a little bit more natural. And I have this simple pumpkin pick from Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to tuck right in here. This, I, I love picking up little picks here and there because it's so easy to put together a really nice floral arrangement by just plugging in a simple pick. I added a yellow one over here to the side to fill things in a bit, give a different texture. So I'm sort of just clustering over to one side of this basket. I 
Then I have these little sweet berries. I have no idea where I purchased these from. I just, I do not remember. Maybe it was a clearance sale somewhere. Maybe through Maryfield Garden or something where I just picked up one. Just adding a little bit of height, some dimension in there with some berries. Now I love these right here and they were purchased from New River Pottery in North Carolina. And I thought that I ended up removing these. You, you will see what I replaced them with. Um, at first I thought, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous look. But I really, um, for where it was going, I decided I just wanted to add in something that um, didn't stand out so much. You know, sometimes it's the little details. And this was one of those times. So if you still find yourself here in the video, go ahead if you are enjoying this and give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps us in the algorithm. And here you go. Okay, so I used the little berries. These were purchased from a Hobby Lobby. I decided to hang it from the knob outside of the cabinet and I will be placing in one more berry pick as well. <laughs> 